All right, so like always, we're on lesson 10-5, which is working with time, and we've already done the guided practice in class, so we'll get started on our independent practice. So remember, our key thing is that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And remember that multiplication is always the number of groups times the size of the groups. So it's always number times the size. All right, so here we have 30 plus 35 is 65 minutes, and 8 plus 7 is 15 hours. But notice here, I have 65 minutes, and I only need 60 to make one hour. So I'm going to take away a group of 60 here, and I'm going to trade that one group of 60 for one hour. So here, one hour plus 15 is equal to 16 hours, and here I have 65 which I took away 60 minutes, which leaves me with five minutes. Heading to our next one. Here we have a fill in the blank one. So we have 12 months equals one year, which I see right here. So we have five plus nine is 14 months. But then we have these mystery boxes up here. So what we're going to end up doing is we have to have some regrouping here. So that 14 months, is actually equal to two months because I'm taking out a group of 12. So I have two total months because I'm taking out a group of 12 and I'm adding that 12 to my two years because that's equal to one year. So then I have two years minus, but notice this was an addition problem, but I, it's really a subtraction. So Mr. Wimbley did not read that right, so I'm sorry guys. So here, we have 5 minus 9, but we can't do that, so we have to regroup. So I'm going to borrow from this 2, so that will become 1 year, and I'm getting now how many years for my months. I'm getting 12 months for 1 year, and I already have 5 months, so I'm adding those together. So I now have 17 months. 17 minus 9 is 8, 1 minus 0 is 1, so that is 1 year and 8 months. Over here, I have eight groups of one-fourth, so I'm breaking that up. Remember, my whole number multiplies with my numerator, so I have eight times four. My denominator stays the same, so I have eight times one is eight, and then what can I do? Well, I notice both of these are divisible by four. Eight divided by four is two. Four divided by four is one, so I'm left with just two hours. For number seven, how many weeks are in 588 days? Well, if I look right up here, I notice that one week is equal to seven days, so I need to break that up into groups of seven, which they already showed me. So I have 588 divided by seven. Seven goes into 58 eight times. Multiply, subtract, check. Two is less than seven, so I can bring down. Seven goes into 28 four times. Multiply four times seven is 28. Subtract, check. Zero is less than seven. There's nothing to bring down, so I'm left with 84 weeks. Let's head on to the back page. Number eight, use the table at the right. So it's asking me to use this table. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the table as well. If you attend all the activities at the reunion, how long will you spend at all of the activities? So what I need to do is I need to add my hours along with my minutes. So I have four hours, 15 minutes. I have 55 minutes. I'm going to label it H and M. I have one hour and 30 minutes, and then I have one hour and 35 minutes. So let's add them all up because I'm figuring out the total or all of them. So here, five plus five plus zero plus five is 15. Regroup that one. One plus one is two. Two plus five is seven. Seven plus three is 10. 10 plus three is 13. So I have a hundred and 35 minutes, and then four plus one plus one is six hours. But notice here, I can regroup these into hours. So my hours are 60 minutes equals one hour. 60 plus 60 is 120, which would be two hours. So I can take away 120 minutes and trade that for two hours. So five minus zero is five, three minus one is, or three minus two is one. So I'll have 15 minutes and remember, I just traded this part, my 120 minutes, 
I traded that for two hours. So I need to add six plus two, which is eight. So total, I'd be there for eight hours, 15 minutes. For number nine, it says there are 55 minutes between the time dinner ends and the time campfire begins. What is the elapsed time from the beginning of dinner to the beginning of campfire? So here, let's see. Dinner starts at an hour and 30. So the beginning of dinner to the end is going to be an hour and 30 minutes. But now we have to get to that campfire part. Well, we're not using this part actually because that's how long campfire will take. So what I have to do is I have to add that 55 minutes up here because that's like my waiting time. So let's add them together. I'll have 85 minutes and one hour. And so again, I need to take away my groups of 60 to see what I have left. 85 minus 60 is 25 minutes. And I'm regrouping that 60 for one hour. So I have one hour plus my regrouped hour, which is two hours. So what's the elapsed time from the beginning of dinner to the beginning of campfire? It will take two hours and 25 minutes. For number 10, the band boosters spent 4520 on airline tickets and 1280 on hotel costs for eight members of the color guard. How much was spent for each member? Well, first I have to figure out what the total amount spent was, so I have to add those two together. So 4520 plus 1280. So I'm going to add them together. And I'm left with 5,800. So now I have to take that amount, and what do I have to do with it? Well, I have to break it up between 8. So I have 5,800 divided by 8. And if I remember my divisibility rules, what I can do is I always check those last digits. And with multiplication, or with 8s, it's those last 3. And I see, can I divide that by 8? And I know 8 can go into 800 evenly, so I know there'll be no remainder. So 8 can go into 58 seven times. Multiply, subtract, 2 is less than 8, so I can bring down. 8 goes into 20 two times. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract, check, 4 is less than 8, so bring down. 8 goes into 45 times. Multiply, subtract, and check. So 0 is less than 8, so my final answer is 725. That's how much, each, that's how much money was spent on each member of the color guard. All right, there are 10 years in one decade. Dave's dog is one decade and two years old and 10 months old. Dave is half as old as, as his dog. How old is Dave? Well, first I need to figure out how many months old Dave's dog is. So I have one decade, two years, 10 months. And I need to trade all of these in for months. Well. I know that one decade is equal to 10 years. So this one decade is equal to 10 groups of years. So I have 10 plus this 2. So 10 years plus 2 years is 12 years and 10 months. And now how do I get from years to months? Well, I know there are 12 months in a year. So in order for me to regroup it, I need to do 12 times 12. 12 times 12 is 144. So I have 144 months added to those 10 months. So that's 154 months. And it says Dave is half as old as his dog. So what I now need to do is I need to do some division. 154 divided by 2. 2 goes into 7 how many times? It will go in, I'm sorry, 2 goes into 15 how many times? 7 times. Multiply. Subtract, check, and bring down. 2 goes into 14 seven times. Multiply, subtract, and check. So Dave is 77 months old, but that's a horrible month. So let me just get rid of that. But our tricky part is we don't have months for our years. We talk about it in years. So I need to pull out groups of 12. Well, I know 12, 24, 36. 48, 60, 72. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 6 years, and then I'm taking away 72 because I trade those 72 for 6 years. So I am left with 5 months. So my final answer is 6 years and 5 months. For number 12, Glenn and Chris work at a shoe store. Glenn worked 5 hours and eight minutes. 
Chris worked three hours and 12 minutes. How much longer did Glenn work than Chris? Write and solve an equation to find the difference. So here I have five hours, eight minutes, minus three hours and 12 minutes. So then what do I have here? Well, I need to regroup it. I can't do eight minus 12, so I have to borrow. So I'm trading this one hour for 60 minutes. So I have eight minutes, I'm getting 60 new ones, so I'll be 68. So now eight minus two is six, six minus one is five. So 56 minutes and one hour. So that is how much longer Glenn worked. For Henry's first flight, we have at last one hour and 12 minutes. The second flight is two hours and 41 minutes. How much time did Henry spend on the flights? So here we have one flight plus a second flight. So I have to add them together. So this is my setup. And now I need to add 12 plus 41. 12 plus 41 is 53 minutes. And then one plus two is three hours. So here I have three hours and 53 minutes for my final answer for how much time he spent.